OpenAI successfully trained a network able to generate images from text captions. It's very similar to GPT-3 and Image GPT and produces amazing results. Let's see what it's really capable of. In fact, it's a smaller version of GPT-3 using 12 billion parameters instead of 175 billion parameters. But it has been specifically trained to generate images from text descriptions using a dataset of text image pairs instead of a very broad dataset like GPT-3. It can generate images from text captions using natural language, just like GPT-3 can create websites and stories. It's a continuation of ImageGPT and GPT-3 that I both covered in previous videos if you haven't watched them yet. Dolly is very similar to GPT-3 in the way that it's also a transformer language model receiving text and images as inputs to output a final transformed image in many forms. It can edit attributes of specific objects in images as you can see here or even control multiple objects and their attributes at the same time. This is a very complicated task since the network has to understand the relation between the objects and create an image based on its understanding. Just take this example, feeding to the network an emoji of a baby penguin wearing a blue hat, red gloves, green shirt and yellow pants. All these components need to be understood, the objects, colors and even the location of the objects. Meaning that the gloves need to be both red and on the hands on the penguin. The same thing for the rest. And the results are very impressive considering the complexity of the task. It uses self-attention as I described in a previous video to understand the context of the text and sparse attention for the images. There are not many details about how it works or how exactly it was trained, but they will be publishing a paper explaining their approach. I will be sure to cover it as soon as it's released. OpenAI just released a paper explaining how DALI works. It's called Zero-Shot Text-to-Image Generation. As I previously mentioned, it uses a transformer architecture to generate images from a text and base image sent as input to the network. But it doesn't simply take the image, the text and sends it to the network. First, in order to be understood by the transformer architecture, the information needs to be modeled into a single stream of data. This is because using the pixels of the image directly will require way too much memory for high resolution images. Instead, they use a discrete variational autoencoder called DVAE that takes the input image and transforms it into a 32 by 32 grid, giving as a result 1024 image tokens rather than millions of tokens for a high resolution image. Indeed, the only task of this DVAE network is to reduce the memory footprint of the transformer by generating a new version of the image. You can see it as a kind of image compressing step. The encoder and decoder in the DVAE are composed of classic convolutions and ResNet architectures with skip connections. If you've never heard of variational autoencoders before, I strongly recommend you to watch the video I made explaining them. Unfortunately, this DVA network was also shared in OpenAI's GitHub with a notebook to try it yourself and implementation details in the paper. The links are in the description below. These image tokens produced by the discrete VA model are then sent with the text as input to the transformer model. Again, as I described in my previous video about DALI, this transformer is a 12 billion parameter sparse transformer model. Without diving too much into the transformer's architecture, as I already covered it in a previous video, they are sequence-to-sequence -sequence models that often use encoders and decoders. In this case, it only uses a decoder, since it takes the generated image by the DVAE and the text as inputs. Each of the 1024 image tokens that were generated by the discrete VAE has access to all text tokens and using self-attention, it can predict an optimal image text pairing. Then, it is finally fed into a pre-trained contrastive model, 
which is in fact the pre-trained clip model that OpenAI published in early January. It's used to optimize the relationship between an image and a specific text. Giving an image generated by the transformer and the initial caption, Clip assigns a score based on how well the image matches the caption. The Clip model was even used on Unsplash images to help you find the image you are looking for, as well as finding specific frames in a video from the text input. Of course, in our case, we already have an image generated, and we just want it to match the text input. Well, Clip still gives us a perfect measure to use as a penalty function to improve the results of the transformer's decoder iteratively during training. Clip's capabilities are very similar to the zero-shot capabilities of GPT-2 and GPT-3. Similarly, Clip was also trained on a huge dataset of 400 million text image pairs. This zero-shot capability means that it works on images and text samples that were not found in the training dataset, which are also referred to as unseen object categories. Finally, the overall architecture was trained using 250 million text image pairs taken from the internet, mostly from Wikipedia, and it basically learns to generate a new image based on the given tokens as inputs, just like we described earlier in the video. This was possible because transformers make the use of more parallelization possible during training, making it way faster while producing more accurate results. Being powerful natural language tools as well as powerful computer vision tools when used with a proper encoding system. Of course, this was just an overview of this new paper by OpenAI. I strongly recommend reading the DALI paper and the CLIP paper to have a better understanding of this approach. I'm excited to see what the community will do with these codes now available. Please leave a like if you went this far in the video. And since there's over 80% of you guys that are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing to the channel to not miss any further news. Thank you for watching.